it's me, Molly. So today's video is going to be some DIYs that are really popular on Pinterest tested. I've never done this before and I just thought it would be something fun and different to do. I'm actually super excited to film this video. I haven't done it yet, so like who knows if these DIYs work out. You're gonna just have to watch the video, I guess. Right now on my channel, I'm going to be giving away <laughs> Beats headphones, woo! These are brand new pink Beats headphones that I just bought at Target and I'm so excited to give them away to one of you guys. So all you have to do to enter to win these headphones is be subscribed to my channel and leave a comment down below where you're from. You don't have to be too specific though, just like, you know, general. So yeah, make sure that you're subscribed if you're not already so that way you can be entered to win these and you can see all the new videos that I post all the time. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it because I can totally do more like testing videos. Let's see if we can get this video to 10 thousand thumbs up. I know, crazy. And with all that being said, let's jump into the video. The first DIY we're going to be doing today is the watercolor canvas that I've been seeing everywhere. So you're just going to need a canvas. I chose to do a letter one and then also some Sharpies and some rubbing alcohol. And all you're supposed to do is just take your Sharpies and like scribble all over it. It said that it did not have to be neat. So I took that advice and I just like scribbled all over. And then what you're going to need is a little spray bottle and you're going to fill your rubbing alcohol into that and then just spray it over the whole entire letter and I honestly you guys was so impressed with how it was turning out I was so happy it actually looked beautiful and I was so excited to put it in my room like just take a good look at that color right there because it looks perfect so let's just talk about this one for a second it actually looks better on camera than it does in real life in real life this thing just looks literally awful. It's bad. It's real bad. If you guys have any ideas what I did wrong or if I did anything wrong, let me know. Because it looked so good before it was drying and then I just looked at it like 30 minutes after I put it down to dry and it looks like this. But I'm gonna have to give this one a thumbs down for me. We are over one now on the DIYs because this just does not look good at all. <laughs> Next up is this thing that I have been seeing all over Pinterest, especially recently, and it's this unicorn neon poop slime. That's what they called it. I don't know. For this, you're going to need some white Elmer's glue, some food coloring, and borax, which I found at Target. So I'm following the instructions literally exactly how they say on the website, so I am following them to a T. It said to take four disposable cups and pour your glue evenly distributed into all of them, and then after, take some warm water, a tablespoon amount and add that into all of them and then also add in food coloring to the desired color that you want and mix it all up so that is what I did then as the instruction said after you mix it all together you're gonna add in a teaspoon amount of borax which after doing this I realized that so many blogs have different amounts so that's why I tried it with different ones because I don't know if I just looked at a faulty blog for giving instructions on this or what but as you can see it came out like super clumpy and like really thick and not like slime at all like I said I don't know if I just read them off of a bad blog or something but it was not working out for me so I just decided to put them in a container so that way I can show you guys. Okay, honestly, this one, you guys, we are over to. Like, this one is just a fail for me. I don't know what I did wrong because I tried experimenting with it again the next day using less borax and more borax. Nothing changed. It was still just as bad. The colors are really pretty, but I can literally go like this and it's just stuck in there. Don't know what I did wrong with this one either. If you guys have any idea or if I didn't do anything wrong and this just like fails for everyone, let me know because I'm really disappointed. I was really hopeful for this to be cool. Oh, for two, you guys, this is more so like a putty consistency like I don't know like a stress ball or something that's what it reminds me of but it is definitely definitely not slime thumbs down <laughs> And the last DIY we're going to be trying today is a galaxy in a bottle. So for this DIY, you're going to need a mason jar that has a lid on it, some acrylic paint in galaxy type colors, also a ton of cotton balls and glitter. So the first thing I did is take some disposable cups again, and these already have water in them, and I'm just adding a little bit of paint into each of them. You can add as much as you want depending on how pigmented you want the color to be. So yeah, I'm just adding that in and mixing it together, and this is what it looks like. 
Now in your mason jar, all you have to do is kind of just separate the cotton balls a little bit so they're not as thick and then you're going to add them to the bottom of your mason jar, really honestly add a ton and then top it off with a ton of glitter. Then just slowly pour the colors in and you're going to repeat that step for every single color. And I thought that this was so cool so I did blue, purple, pink and then I added a little bit of dark purple at the top. And honestly guys, the more glitter the better. It looks really cool and just always make sure to pour the paint water mixture pretty slowly so that way you don't add too much. Finally, something kind of worked. I mean, I don't know, maybe I'm being a little bit hard on myself because it does look really pretty and kind of what I wanted it to look like. So I would say that this one works. Definitely super inexpensive, which is awesome because you probably already have like all of these things lying around in your house. So this one is Molly approves. The other two were just, oh God knows. But yeah, I like this one and I think it turned out pretty good. If you're a little bit more artistic and you take your time with it a little bit more, I'm sure this could look even better. So I like this one. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed Enjoyed seeing me test out those DIYs. And if you aren't subscribed already, I'll give you a second. Did you do it? <laughs> give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. And I think that's everything. So yeah, I love you guys so much. And I'll talk to you in my next video very soon. Bye.